What's up? I'm Marjorie Whitby, and you're watching the IML on Optimus TV. Wait, where's Gracie? And Bethany? Megan Taylor, where are you? Just kidding, y'all. You are watching me here at Optimus TV on my live Google Plus Hangout. What up? You know, at Optimus TV, we love Halloween. So today, we're going to show you the best way you can dress up your pop with my special guest, Scruffy. Mm -hmm. Seven. So I'll also be answering live questions from Facebook and Twitter. So if you want to ask me a question, you can either like us on Facebook, Awesome News TV, post a status, ask me anything, you know, maybe share a tip on how to dress your puppy, or you can tweet us at Awesome News TV with the hashtag Hang with Audrey. Yay! Let's get this started, right? All right. I've got my special helper today, Jessica. What up, Jessica? <laughs> All right, and what? All right, well, actually, we should show off what we're wearing right now. All right, right now, you know, I'm once it gets Halloween time, I like to always be dressed as Halloween. So this is my casual Halloween wear costume. Scruffy, you know, he's just like me. We're kind of twins or whatever. Costume. <laughs> <laughs> we're twinsies. Can't you see it? Brother and sister, right? So, Audrey, how'd you put it on? Oh my gosh! How'd I what? How'd you put this on him? He loves clothes. Look at him. He's, he's like the chillest best dog you'll ever meet. He'll do anything, and he loves anything as long as you're giving him love. He loves love. Love and love. That's life. So we've got three very interesting costumes today. We'll start with the first one. Now, the main thing for your dog, you know, you don't want to make sure, not too much. You want to be comfortable, right? So, see, we're going to get him out of this one very well, hopefully. <laughs> Come on, Scruffy. See, look how much of a good baby he is. He is so good. He's so good. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Yeah, he's getting caught. What's his sweatshirt on? <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to get his paw out of this thing. <laughs> he likes his sweatshirt tight. There we go. Let's go to the second one. See, there we are. Oh, it's almost off. Don't worry. He doesn't even bark or anything. Good baby. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with this first costume. We're going to let this be a surprise real quick. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. <laughs> kind of blends in with the couch a little bit, but it's all good. And hold on. Not complete yet. He is a official taxi driver! Yay! Can we see it? Oh my gosh! Ah! Shut up! He's got a, he's a taxi! <laughs> and he, <laughs> I love this costume because, first of all, it's funny. Second of all, he loves it. Can't you just see in his face that he loves this costume? Scruffy, do you love it? Yes, I love it so much, Audrey. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, Scruffy. I love you, too. <laughs> it's got a cat driving him. <laughs> it's a cat. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It just makes me happy. Just, that's, yeah, that's the main thing. It just, it, it makes us both very happy. So this is very stylish, this Halloween wear, you know. I think the... Yellow really brings out his brown eyes. It's a good color for him. We have a first tweet. Oh, yay! This is from at Maple Squirrel. Okay, at Maple Squirrel. What is your favorite holiday? What is my favorite holiday? Oh, that's such a tough one. I guess I would love, I, I love Halloween. I love being creative and dressing up, and I love my doggies. And so I love dressing them up too, but Christmas is pretty cool. Thanksgiving is awesome because you get, just get to eat. Food's pretty awesome. So. I agree. This one is from at Cutie Love Me. And at. she wants to know who is you and Scruffy's favorite Disney movie or show? And what's your top three shops? At, what's her name? Cutie Love Me. At Cutie Love Me. What are our favorite Disney movies, shows? And shops? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Okay. Well, uh, movies, we love Lilo and Stitch. Both of us. Don't you love Lilo and Stitch, Scruffy? Yes, I love Lilo and Stitch so much. 
We love Lilo and Stitch because he kind of reminds us of Stitch. Just look at his face. Ooh. So I love Lilo and Stitch mainly because it's the best movie ever. Fudge controls the weather. <laughs> right now, my favorite Disney show is Gravity Falls. You know, since me and Scruffy are such twins, I was thinking as going as Mabel and Dipper. Couldn't you see us as Mabel and Dipper? Everybody, Mabel and Dipper. Am I right or am I right? We could get into the little tree hat and everything. And Disney's shops. Um, the Disney store is awesome. I used to go there all the time. Got a mermaid costume there once. <laughs> pretty great. The stuffed animal section is pretty dope. I've got all my uh, Stitch memorabilia from there. I have an awkward amount of Stitch memorabilia. I have lots of friends as well. Mm. No. <laughs> my memorabilia <laughs> Stitch is my friend. <laughs> so, this is should we take them into the next outfit now first, or should we just? Yeah, let's what should we do? Next outfit. Why not? the next outfit. All right. He loves Scuffy. You look great in all of these, but you know, we can just switch it up. He has such a great figure. You know, it's really easy to dress him. He does a lot of puppy working out, I guess. What kind of dog is he? Um, he's actually a rescue. You know, my family and I love dogs. We've got like six all together, and so I've, we've always loved dogs, and we think it's really important to rescue dogs. So he is a rescue dog because, you know, like, rescue dogs need a home. That's true. And so we rescued him. So we're not really sure how old he is or what he is, but we think he might be like a terrier, pug, chihuahua. You tell me. Can you tell me what breed my dog is? Oh, God. Okay. Scruffy he even came with the name. It fits him so well. I have, a, I have a Scout, a Scooter, a Scruffy. And a Smokey. And then a Junie and a Jack. Oh, so many dogs. We're going to have to get a kennel license. I think we actually need to get a kennel license. And now Scruffy is an astronaut! <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's got his little backpack and everything. Fly, Scruffy! Fly! He's flying to the. Oh, no, 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 it came out. Uh -oh. oh, God, no. Here Costume we go. malfunction. Costume malfunction. Oh, no. Yay! Do you guys like Scruffy's astronaut costume? He does. Is this your favorite so far? Yeah, my country, thanks so much. I know. What looks better, the taxi driver or the astronaut? You guys are going to have to help me decide. Oh, and also, if you hear me talking weird, just got the Invisalign thing. I'm learning how to talk around them. Oh. La, 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 la. When did you get that? So if that's why I have a lisp, then I'm sorry. Actually, sorry, I'm not sorry. Hashtag. I forgot the hashtag. Hashtag. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Any more Twitter questions or Facebook questions? Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Keep. Let's see what's going on Twitter. Twitter. I know, right? Scruffy's having such a great time. Here, I brought some costumes myself while we're waiting. I own a ridiculous amount of, for some reason, I really like hats that have animals on them, like a lot. Again, like I said, I have a lot of friends. So, this one's a bear. Liz Mert says, I love your costume. When did you start playing the ukulele? I play too. <gasps> I have it on me always. I start playing it about um, a few months ago. That's really awesome. Why don't you play too? <laughs> I'm learning a new song. I'm learning the um. Some nights I stay up cashing in my bad luck. Scrappy likes it too. Do astronauts like ukuleles? Duh. Duh. Look, look, at him. look at him. He's all about it, obviously. <laughs> oh no, his little ears are falling out of this. He's got little baby ears. Oh gosh. Oh, no. He's so great. Here we go. Look. He picked these all out himself, everybody. He did. He picked out his wardrobe. Word on the street. Word on the street. Yeah, you guys really have to help me decide. Because, you know, he picked all three of them, but he can't decide. He seriously can't decide. Which one do you want? I don't know yet. I know. They're all three so great. Huh. They're so great. Look, this even has a pocket. <gasps> you can put all his candy in there. <gasps> 
Gruffy loves treats and candy. We have another question. What type of Doc Martens were you wearing in the last IMO video? Oh my gosh. Uh, ooh. I think I was probably just wearing my short black Docs. Uh, they're really awesome. Right now I'm wearing my, my dress up Docs for special occasions as meeting you guys. Hello everybody out there. Do we have a way to like know how many people are on here? I think so. I think it could check, see. actually. Um, I know I've done a few U streams before, but this is awesome and professional. Wow, almost 100 viewers right now. 100 people. What's up, 100 people? Make sure you go to Twitter. And if you really, you know, we're accepting all questions right now at Awesomeness TV, hashtag hanging with Audrey. Um, you know, anything you want to ask or any tips you want to give or any commentary about Scruffy and how amazing he is, just look at that. Just look at that body. Ah. Just look at that body. Ah. But I was probably wearing my short black docks. I get really off track most of the time. Uh, my short black docks. Um, I have really tall docks. And then I just got these. And then I just got a pair of short uh, velvet docks that are velvet purple. They're so cool. Really? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> I'm going to continue on my collection of miscellaneous hats. These are all mine. Like These are not anybody else's except mine, by the way. I'm going to put them on on top. This is a good one, too, right? Megan tweeted for you. Oh, God. What did Megan say? <laughs> she says, <laughs> she says, who is Megan Dowling? Winky face. Hashtag hanging with Austria. <laughs> uh, Megan Dowling happens to be my wife. She is beautiful and intelligent and smart and the love of my life. <laughs> I can't wink. I can't wink. <laughs> Let's try to watch Audrey wink here for a second. Like if I can't wink. I think we just got a million likes. <laughs> hey, watch this if you if you think I can't wink. The whole world is watching now. All right. I'm having a good time. Last but not least of my collection of weird hats. Oh, yeah, Scrappy. We have another Oh, we have another question. good question. <laughs> <laughs> to live and laugh <laughs> just gave a suggestion. She says, I think you should be Mabel and Scrappy should be Mr. Waddles for Halloween. Just, <gasps> a, just an idea. Oh my gosh, to live and laugh? Yeah. To live and laugh, that is a great idea. Oh, and he just kind of look like a pig. Oh my gosh, you just gave me the best idea ever. Whoever you are out there, you are brilliant. I love you. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm going to go see where I can find a pig costume now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who here for Halloween is going to be the cookie monster? I know I'm going to be one year. I've got this dope hat. Where did you get the hats? I get all these hats from like Target or like. You see the hats and you're just like. Yeah, I see one. I bought one that's a cat too, but I couldn't find it. I guess speaking of cats, I have so many random like things at my house. So I thought I'd bring them all, try to show them off and use them for once. I'm a cat. Like half the girls for Halloween. <laughs> I went to a costume party recently. And I think I saw, I think we counted them. There was like four bunnies and eight cats. <laughs> Why? You're just so cute. Not too many astronaut. Not too many astronaut Scruffy's though. So Scruffy's keeping that original. He's just keeping it. He's just keeping it. Scruffy, uh, Scruffy keeps keep it real. OG. He's sorry. He's not sorry. He's not sorry. <laughs> he's gonna put all his Reese's peanut butter cups in here. Obviously, he eats lots of those. Should we move on to the next costume while we're answering more questions? Yeah, we should go to the next one. Next costume. Actually, the next costume is kind of what I'm being for Halloween. I'm sure if you guys have watched IMO, which you guys really should, IMO, every Monday through Friday, there's a new episode every day. What's Monday through Friday. IMO episode? Uh, what's my favorite IMO episode? That's such a great one. Um, I guess well, the IMO episode where we all got to... <coughs> Excuse me. Without dying. I know, without dying. Um, the IMO episode where we all got to tell each other what we like about each other. That was a really special episode. I can't lie, I think I teared up a little bit. It, right, me too. I and think I, was, I teared up a little bit. I was just like, this is probably the cutest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. I love my IMO girls so much. I think it's cool because everybody knew. Like, it's kind of like proof that like you guys really are friends. You know, like we it's are not just you know the show. We all hang out in real life, and I love all of them so much, and I have so much. Good to say about each and every one of them. Me and Gracie had uh, a sleepover the other night, and we made cupcakes. I mean, what else would we do? 
And like, she's okay. a cupcake connoisseur. <laughs> she is. I actually was a junior chef of America and won um, a contest with one of my best friends, Boo Spence, um, where we made these cookies that I call Cooking It Up Cookie Cupcakes. And the surprise is that there's a whole Oreo at the very bottom. Are you serious? Yeah, for real. And it's like, it's like a full Oreo. And so we, me and Gracie are kind of like the perfect pair because I make them taste good and she makes them look good. So there we go. She is really creative. She's so creative. If you want a brilliant cupcake, we're going to start a cupcake company. I feel like I'm on IMO, guys. I'm not going to lie because I've been a part of the shoots. I'm like mostly on the back end. I work here at Austin TV, so I get to like see the back end, see the behind the scenes, and like get to talk to the girls and meet them and stuff. Yeah, we and love Jessica. Scrubby loves Jessica too. Yeah. Scrubby loves everybody. And like, and party. it's just so cool. Seriously, like from the Austin TV standpoint, it's so cool to see how all close all the girls are. It's, really, it's so cute. It's just so like heartwarming. I'm like, oh, I know we all get together and it's like, Sandy, 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 Tina, I love them so much. <laughs> I actually knew Gracie and Tila before, but I had never met Bethany and Megan, but we've all become, I'm, they're like all like my IMO sisters. We're all so close. It's so funny. You see them like off air and all they do is like Duh. scream and talk and yell. Like that's all I know. they do. They're like girls, girls, we're going to start. <laughs> they get really frustrated with us. Girls, girls, like, or my favorite part is when like you guys are all on your phones, like taking pictures, and we're like, okay, guys, you gotta get us your phones now. And you're, and you guys are all, one more minute, one more minute. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. As I do social media, so I'm like, no, 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 keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Like, keep, keep doing all the pictures. All right, I have a question. Okay. I have. Oh wait. Uh oh, they responded to me. Audrey, what's your favorite? Or oh, this one comes from. Oh no, I lost it. Oh. Are there like a lot coming in? Uh, Sarah De yeah, there's a lot. Sarah Deck, who is your favorite celebrity and why? Sarah Deck, who is my favorite celebrity and why? So many. Um, hmm, I guess I would have to say uh, probably, I've said it a million times on IMO, so this is <laughs> probably <sighs> Tina Fey uh, because she is not only a brilliant actor, but she's a brilliant writer as well. And I think that that's something really cool that she's got, like, she's really successful in several different ways, and she's just really talented. And, you know, coming from, I said, I'm so random, I got to do sketch comedy, and, you know, realizing what a challenge that was, I really look up to everybody who excels at it, like Tina Fey. And not only, I just acted in it, you know, we had a team of highly skilled writers, but the fact that she wrote her own sketches, I'd be writing a sketch, I'd be like, and then I dressed up Struffy as an astronaut. Like, this obviously is not that entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> like a sketch? This could totally be a sketch. Dog, dog costumes. I guess it could be. Or like me playing the ukulele in like all my sketches. If you go on my YouTube, it's uh, literally me. Oh no, it's Happy Sam. Yeah. No, he's such he a got, good dog. Right. This star stuff is too this, much. I know. This is actually, you guys may not know this, but this is Scruffy's debut. This is his first time ever being the star. Now, my other dog, Judy, uh, which you guys have seen in several videos, is kind of the diva of the family. But unfortunately, she doesn't really like clothes. She just likes for us to pamper her in every single other way. But Scruffy is, plays long enough to actually wear clothes. So this is the most attention he's gotten in a while. Actually, all three of the dogs are here in office. Right now, I got another dog like two days ago. His name is Jack. He's so cute. Oh my gosh! I I figure at some point in this uh, hangout, we might have to bring all three in because oh no, we will. It'll be crazy, <laughs> but we will do it. How many? Okay, I got another this? question here. Cutie Grande, Audrey, what's your favorite meat? LOL. But, oh, I am. My dad used to when I was little used to call me. Um, Oh, what do they call it? A dinosaur. Uh, uh, only eat meat. Um, Carn carnivore. My daddy used to call me a carnivore when I was little. Uh, any and everything. I'm from the South, so barbecue is a really big thing for me. Um, <laughs> I love anything that's a barbecue or a steak or a burger or maybe a deli sandwich. Ooh. Oh, deli sandwiches are so good. There's like, this place around the corner called Witch Witch. Have you been there? I love Witch Witch. I love, I actually get, the meat I get, I get at Witch Witch, I get the Italian. Italian food is my favorite. I get, um, like, the Parmesan with 
marinara and like grilled chicken and oh, it's so good and toast it all. Mm -mm -mm. I love yeah. food. <laughs> Ali or Treble 29. Treble 29, got it. What is your favorite Halloween costume that you've worn ever? Trouble 29. Uh, I've had a lot of great costumes in my day. I really love costumes. Oh, this is a hard one. I have to think for a while. Mm -hmm. One time I dressed up as a pirate. And I didn't get it at the time. I just thought it was really weird. But my mom made me run up to the doors and yell, Where's me booty? To like every single person <laughs> that I trick-or-treated at. And I didn't get it. She's like, booty stands for... Um, like, like gold, Audrey, and I'm like, but kitties and gold, this is weird. But now I look back on it and I laugh, just me running up to all my neighbor's house and everybody in the neighborhood, where's me booty? That was a great costume. From YouTube, mm -hmm. Hello Kitty Lover 2222, what's your fave color? Hello Kitty Lover 2222, great username. Uh, remind me of Tila. Tila is obsessed with Hello Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a problem, but um, I guess I'd have to say my favorite color is uh, like Tiffany blue. Ooh. I know. I think, it's, I think it's like a natural thing. Like, it's in my blood because my parents named me while they were watching Breakfast at Tiffany's. It's so, oh. That's why my name's Audrey. No wonder. Fancy quote, schmancy. Her quote on Twitter is an Audrey Hepburn quote. And now I get it. it Everything I learned, I learned from the movies, which is true because I, that's seriously all I know. <laughs> Go to school. Don't just watch TV. <laughs> I'm sending out bad vibes. What's this? Oh, it's the next costume. Come on, it's Grubby. I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know. Grubby's like, what is going what on? What is going on? He's like, he's like, who are you people and why are you dressing me in all these costumes? Because you're adorable. <laughs> tweet us if you think Scruffy's doing a great job, because he is. Yeah, you should totally tweet us and tell us which costume you'd like us to <gasps> Yes, please do. We need help. Because, I mean, Scruffy's got so many costumes now. We don't know, like, what he's going to wear for Halloween. We see There's just so many good ones. I don't, I don't know if I can pick. I know. I can't either. I mean, Scruffy, he's the mastermind behind this all. He picked them all out himself. He drove himself to the store. Mac from YouTube, Mac Glitz Girl, wants to know, who is your favorite singer? Oh, that's so hard. Um... I guess right now, I know this is so cheesy, but Miley Cyrus has been, I've been a huge Miley Cyrus fan my whole life. Me and my friend uh, used to have this rap, and we would say, don't be a Hannah hater. Don't be a Hannah hater. Don't be a Hannah hater. Because we loved Miley Cyrus and Hannah Montana. And so it just became like this thing that we would always, I've always loved her. I think she's so great. Yeah, I love her so much. Even her new haircut. I, I, think, think, it's, I think it's kind of, you know... It's different, but it's so edgy. It's cool. edgy. It is. It is. And it's, yeah, exactly. You know, and if she likes it, that's all that matters. All right. We have Cinnamon Love Baby wants to know, what is your favorite song at the moment? Oh, mm, that's a great one. Uh, um, I guess I would have to say, sorry, I'm trying to do this at the same time. Oh, my favorite song at the moment. Oh, Oh, from Gangnam Style. Oh, from Gangnam Style. <laughs> I think so. hey, wait, he can Gangnam Style already. Let's see if he can. Our friend John <laughs> from Hong Kong. We know him. John L. Nicholas. We know you at Austin at TV, and we love you, FYI. Love you, we, John. We're going to do a special shout-out for you. Um, he just wanted to say, I love this chat. Costumes are awesome. Aw. Hi, John. Hi, John. How's it going? <laughs> Thanks oh, for watching. Oh, oh, you like your shirt. I got, I got it sent to you. Ah, oh, I hope, um, thank you for guys who are watching, like, in the middle of not America, because I know it's probably a really weird time to be watching right now, the middle of not America. <laughs> I know, I mean, probably worldwide, yeah, if you have any worldwide users, shout out to all of you, and if you're watching worldwide, you should hashtag hanging with us, um, hanging with Audrey worldwide, and you can just say, like, what country you're from, because we'd love to know where you're from. Who are you watching? How many viewers do we have now? Does it say? It says up in the corner of the chat. Oh, yeah. Hi, Lily Casey. Lily Casey says, "I'm a star. He was born to be a star." Yay! All right, hold on. So obviously, as you can tell, forever oh. thirty-one just said, "Hi, hey, Audrey, I'm your biggest fan." Anyways, you, what would you do if you never met the IMO girls? Oh, what's this thing doing again? 
Jojo Forever 31. At Jojo Forever 31. Forever. Sorry. Uh, be heartbroken because they're my life. Megan is my wife. I know you're watching this, honey. I'll be home soon. She lives in New York. That's impossible. But um, New <laughs> Jersey. I'll be home soon. Go to bed. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I would be so hard. Like you know, like you always think like you meet people in your life, and you're like, if you weren't here, something would be wrong. If I had never met the IMO girls, that'd be like me walking around and being like, one day I would just be walking down the street, like a normal conversation, maybe taking scruff a muffin on a walk. I all of a sudden just stop, and I'm like, something in my life is missing. That's what would happen because they are. They're a huge part of my life, and I love our IMO weekends, and I love those girls so much. I so, love so just stop my tracks. Something's wrong. This is like being like in the what I like about you all over again. You're like, oh, I love Gracie. <laughs> I love, I know, right? I love. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's true. It is true. It's all true. It is true. Let's see. What else do we have in my magic? Morning. In my magic little email list, I actually have my friend Erin's manning all of this. So she's searching through all of the comments and stuff. So she's awesome for doing that. Yay, Erin! We have another one from YouTube. This one is Pretty Miss On Point 14. Would you come out with a show of your own? Pretty Miss On Point 14. Yeah, I would love to. You know, anything. I love sitcoms. If you guys have seen. Um, I was in a few episodes. I was in an episode of Austin and Allie, and I was in an episode of Dog with a Blog. And yeah, any sort of opportunity, I would love. I love what I do. And Leah's watching. watching. Hi, Leah Marie Johnson. Hi, Leah. I just want to say hi to you. Watch Terry the Tomboy. Oh my gosh, watch Terry the Tomboy. Watch Terry the Tomboy. So I'm in an episode. I play a mean girl. <laughs> she gets to throw water on me. Spoiler alert. It was a hot day, so it was actually pretty awesome. Jenna Carrillo wants you to tell a funny story. Jenna what? Carrillo. Jenna Carrillo, one, two, three. Oh, just Jenna Carrillo. Oh, just Jenna Carrillo. Jenna Carrillo. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, this is a good one. All right, when I was in like third grade, I was part of Girl Scout Troop, Girl Scout Troop 24, represent. And I, me and all my Girl Scouts were going to see a uh, horse ranch. And so, you know, we'd petted all the big pretty horses and whatever. But then there was this really evil little miniature horse named Elliot standing there. It was like eating grass. He was like, and like, he's a miniature horse. And we're like a whole bunch of eight-year-olds were like, yes, we are going to go pet the miniature horse. And when I was eight, I looked like I was like two years old. I was always really little for my size. And compared to all my Girl Scout Troop girls, I was like a tiny little girl. And she was so little, just like Scruffy. And so I walked over to, to pet all these horses. And I guess it saw me. And it, we interrupted the eating is the whole thing. To be, she's dragged over so we can pet him. And uh, I'm petting him because I'm up front because I'm little. And I got through all the girls. And all of a sudden, he just goes, I guess he was still hungry because he goes and like takes a hold of my arm and my Girl Scout troop like turns into ninjas and they all one by one line up behind me and they say like, the, my friend uh, says like pull and they all go in a tight grip. I was like come on and they all like pull and they pulled and I'm like ah luckily he didn't have any gums. <laughs> so I came out unscathed a little bit mentally scarred. I'm a lot mentally scarred, but yeah. <laughs> it's my funny story. Actually, Miss Audrey, we have a surprise for you. A surprise? We do have a surprise for you. I know this is a little crazy, but we have a friend that wanted to join in on the chat with you. Uh uh. And we're going to bring her in right now. What? This is such a big surprise. Hey, I made it! Megan! Hey, I love you, Megan. I miss you, wife. How are you? I can't hear what you're saying, but I can see your beautiful face. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. Hi, Megan. 
We wanted to bring another IMO girl in just because. I mean, why not? Why not? Why not? Of course. Well, we'll join the party, right? Duh. All the way in New York, she gets to join Beauty of Technology. Thank you. Uh, so. So, wait, Megan, you have to tell us, which out of Scruffy's three costumes do you like the most? I like the astronaut one. The astronaut. Thank you. I mean, the only reason I would say he'd be a good butterfly is because, look at this. We could both be butterflies together. If anybody saw my episode of IMO, where I was, but Megan, remember when I kept hitting you with these wings? Yeah. yeah. Every time you stood up, you had the um, the string with the like the cat bell on it. Yeah, the little cat bells on the end. And, and then she uh, right in the face, and you were like, and she was just a scream. She had the knife on her. I was like, oh. <laughs> wasn't a real knife. Wasn't a real knife, everybody. It was secretly a real knife, obviously, and that was not fake blood. <laughs> Aren't we twins right now? <laughs> Aren't we to total twins? Maybe, what was your favorite IMO episode? My favorite IMO episode. Oh, my dog just got here, too. Aww. Yay, dog party! Dog party! Scrappy says, Hi, I love the dog! I love the dog! I love It's my dog, Lacey. Hello, Lacey. Is he gonna, is he gonna dress up for Halloween? She's dressing up as the Great Band Great Bambino, which she is every year. The Great Bambino. <laughs> <laughs> I only know that term from the Sandlot. That's the only reason why I can tell you ever. I know who the Great Bambino is. I love it. Oh my Are god, you it's excited to come back out to LA. What? Are you excited to come back to LA? Oh yeah. Yay! Oh my gosh. I miss I'm you. Come back right now. Baby, come back. <laughs> Baby, come back. <laughs> Don't I look so good right now? I've got like my costume shirt and my ears and my <laughs> my wings. Looking I'm, like a player. I'm just along for the ride right now. You're beautiful. Oh, Jess, but we love you. <laughs> beautiful, Jess, we love you. Do you have any questions? Megan? Me? Yeah. Anyone well, on the team things want to know anything from Audrey Whippy? Let's see. What do I want to know? <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh, I answered my favorite Oh, totally and I heard you won the costume contest. Oh, I won a costume contest. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I went to this pretty, like, it was like a small party. Like, there wasn't a lot of people there. But um, what happened was is uh, me and my boyfriend, I'm wearing this, I know my shirt right now says um, costume, because it's Halloween, but I have a shirt that says social, for any of you guys that saw the Halloween episode, it just says social, so I'm a social butterfly, and my boyfriend wore a shirt that says killer, and he's got bee wings, he's such a good sport, so we're a social butterfly and a killer bee, and so we're at this party, and, <laughs> and at the very end of the party, like, it's winding down, there's still a lot of people there, uh, the, uh, one of the adults comes up to us and says, like, here, you guys, you guys won the costume contest. There was, like, no, like, runway or anything like that. But we apparently won, and we were excited. Like, nobody voted. I think the moms had just decided. But because she, like, she didn't announce it or anything, but because she didn't, like, tell everybody, me and my boyfriend Nolan made it our job to tell everybody in the world, I think, actually. We were like, we kept running around and we kept saying like, oh, it's not a big deal, but we won the costume contest, but really, like, it's, it's not a big deal, but we won the <laughs> But we won. <laughs> we won. But really, we won. It's not a big deal, but we won. By the end of that party, everybody was so glad we had made it. Aww. <laughs> Yay. Nice. No, because I saw you posting about it on uh, Instagram and everything. I'm like, she totally won that. <laughs> Okay, Do you have any questions? I was just saying, like, uh, I was telling Audrey, or we were talking about earlier, we are saying how, like, it's really true, huh, Megan? Like, you guys really are friends outside of IMO. Yeah. We, the last time I was out there, we, um, we all went bowling. Bowling! Yeah. I well, know that. Was a, that was so much fun. Oh, we love you, Bethany. I yeah. saw Bethany's, um, if Bethany's watching, I saw your video on your Collie Ray Jepsen. It was so cute, right? She I, actually, no, eyes. I saw that one. That was really adorable. She's so great. Hey, yeah. I just met you, and this is crazy. But no, I that was fun. No, like, and the thing is, thanks for video chatting me and Scruffy. 
The question oh, that I gosh. always get is, are you guys actually friends outside of IMO? And I'm always like, yeah, of course we are. No, no. That's Behind the scenes, we, we all don't talk. We all have separate rooms where we sit before the show and we don't see each other until we We're sit. lonely. Yeah. We're all divas that don't talk to each other at all. It's grubby. You can be good. Now. Oh, fun. Any good ones? Well, any I... good... Ah! Ah! <laughs> now you're sending me a bunch of stuff. Uh, Christina two nine eight four four five five seven. That's I'll a lot that. of numbers. Hey guys, Scruffy is so cute. Can Aww. you do any tricks? Ah, uh, hmm. What's um, Christina? 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 Who asked? Can he do any tricks? Uh, yeah, he's actually really talented. He uh, he knows how to sleep. Really well, all day. He can sleep all day. Uh, he's pretty good at uh, sunbathing. Another one of his many tricks of his book. Uh, wow. He's he's quite talented in the area of eating pepperoni. He's really mastered the art of that one. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. So those are all about the tricks. Oh, and he's pretty good at Gangnam styling. Ready? Hey, sexy lady. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so he's been working on that recently. We've been in a lot of dance rehearsals. So yeah, those are about all the tricks you can do. <laughs> and be yourself 057 says, so I'm from Morocco. Audrey, you're so cute. Aw, thank you, be yourself 057. That makes me feel good about myself. And then Alex, Alex Raskob. Mm -hmm. I, I hope I said that right. I'm so sorry if I if I mispronounced it. But Scruffy's doing great. He's so cute. Scruffy, oh yeah, Scruffy, you got a shout out. Say he was a little bit nervous before. You know, I had to calm him down. This is his big debut. As I said, he wanted to do really well, and he obviously, you know, he he picked out his wardrobe and he went over all of his lines, which you know. He's really done a great job. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much. He's doing, he's he's doing, doing pretty well. good. He's doing pretty well. I, gotta I mean, give, I gotta give you some props. I think though. he might be the new face of Awesomeness TV. What does everybody else think? Yes? Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, buddy. I mean, I'm, I'm basically the best face ever. I'm oh, he's good. He's getting a little bit tired now. He's just gonna lay down. Riza Roni, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. If you could live anywhere in the universe, where would it be and who would you live with? Rizzaroni, one, two, three, four. I would live in the magical world of Hogwarts, where I would drink butterbeer every day, and I would play Quidditch, and I would go to potions class. And I would be definitely either a part of Hufflepuff or Gryffindor. Another funny story, uh, when my sister was, <laughs> this is a good story too, when I was little, my sister and her friends used to play uh, Harry Potter. And they would, at the very beginning of the game, they would sort everybody, and it would always be her and her three friends and me. And I always wanted to play so bad. She's like five years older than me. So we actually had like this really cool sorting hat that my mom had bought, and like they would put it on each of their heads, and I was always, I would always go last and be like, Gryffindor! Next hat, Gryffindor! Next person, Gryffindor! And then it would be me, and my sister would be like, Hufflepuff! <laughs> Which is in the guest room, Audrey. And I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> just go sit in the guest room. This is where Hufflepuff was. Yeah, I just called you out. I called you out, Maddie. <laughs> so Hufflepuff for life. So yeah, if I could live anywhere, it would be mm, Hogwarts. Right. Oh my goodness. Eventually become a headmaster. You Not are a Hufflepuff. I can see it. <laughs> I'm so a Hufflepuff, aren't I? I'm not Gryffindor you material. You are. <laughs> What would I be? The worst day ever. The worst day ever. What would I be? I don't know. You would be Ravenclaw. Why? <laughs> because you've got that sassy edge, but you're not like malicious, like Slytherin. You have like, but you have like, you're like a sassafras and a half. That's my new favorite word, That's by the way. I am. Is really like kind of sassy. They were sassy. Ravenclaws are sassy, just what? like you. <laughs> sassy. So? And I'm wearing and blue. It works. Yeah, and she played Harry. She did. Mm -mm. She did. Kissed him with tears. And it didn't didn't even work. Didn't Ginny, even work Harry way. and Ginny for life. <laughs> Bo show. Ciao. <laughs> Looking out for you. Mr. Awesome Yolo Lab. Mr. Awesome Yolo Lab. <laughs> May I 
congratulate you on the amazing username that you have. <laughs> if you could be a superhero, who would it be? Um, mm, Spider-Man. I would be Spider-Man because he is awesome. First of all, not just because of Andrew Garfield. I know where you guys are all going. I probably am in love with Andrew Garfield. I'm only in love with Andrew Garfield a little bit. A lot. But um, <laughs> I'd be Spider-Man because... Uh, I love like the web thing that he can do. I think that's so amazing. Like my like my one dream is to be able to just like fly by myself. And I think being being able to just randomly fly. He's one that makes the most sense to me. Like Superman, I don't even know. I probably shouldn't say anything because comic people are gonna get mad at me. I don't even know how Superman got his powers, but I know that Spider-Man got bit by a radioactive bug. That seems to make sense, right? That's totally real. That could totally happen. I mean. I think that's pretty realistic. It's I mean, realistic. think about it. I mean, radioactive bugs could be out there. You just don't know it. I also like Batman, too, because I think it's cool that he's super without being super. My boyfriend, Nolan, is obsessed with the Joker, and he was going, he wanted uh, me to be, he was going to be the Joker this year. He's got an amazing Joker impersonation, and I was going to be Batman, but I wasn't going to be like, Batman, like, sexy girl Batman. I don't do that. No, I it was going to be like, Batman, Batman was like, the muscles and like the arms and the full mask. <laughs> That's for next year. We're saving that for next year. Oh my god. And we have We're gonna take this off him because he's getting a little bit fushy. He's all I don't like this. He's like, I'm done, I'm done. I'm like, okay. Treble twenty nine wants to know, where are your jeans from? They're so cute. Thank you. Actually, I've worn these on Awesomeness uh, on IMO before. We've got such an amazing wardrobe people, and they actually let me keep these because they're so awesome. I think they're from H&M, but I wear them all the time, and I would just like to thank Awesomeness Wardrobe for letting me keep them. Thank you so much. <laughs> thanks, awesome. thanks, H&M. I think yeah, pretty much thanks, H&M. They, they do a lot of shopping at H&M. H&M's their main spot. H&M's <laughs> a bomb. Let's see. Oh, Tila's watching. Hi, Tila. Hi, Tila. I love you. I, I shouted you out earlier because of her little kitty, if you didn't see that. Hi, Tila. Scarsby says hi, Tila. Hi, Tila. Tila was adorable as a cheerleader. When, if anybody hasn't seen the episodes of IMO where we uh, dress up, everybody should definitely go watch uh, for Tila being a beautiful cheerleader. But for Gracie being Honey Boo Boo Child, she had her go-go juice. My go go juice is gonna help me win. It's like she like walked around with a uh, two liter of Mountain Dew saying that for like hours. Like, my go go juice is gonna help me win. And it, it was like we all kept laughing. It was awesome. How about Megan Scream though? Oh, Megan Scream was amazing. Like, went with like scary. scary Halloween. <laughs> Which I give props to. I've, I mean, I've really only gone scary once, but. Um, that was it was so interesting, and she 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 really owned it with the mask and the bloody the bloody knife. She kept scaring people with that one. Yeah, she was great. I like went great. up to random Megan. people, and I was like, "Touch my knife." <laughs> you were like, "Yeah, you're like, if you touch me with your wing one more time, Audrey, <laughs> your knife." No, didn't I say to you? I was like, "This isn't gonna be fake blood anymore." <laughs> any any other good questions? Dropped Oreo. That's a pretty good dropped one. Dropped Oreo. <gasps> How dare you drop Oreos? Shout out to Darren. It's his birthday. Darren, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Darren. Here, I think I actually... Mm, here, Scrubby. Oh, Scrubby's going away. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. You guys, sorry. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Darren. Darren, you rock. Darren, you're awesome. From all this awesomeness TV, happy birthday. Especially from Scruffy. Right, Scruffy? Yeah. I talk for my dog way too much. He speaks through me. He won V L I. He won by I think that means violin. We're just going to go with that. Yeah, violin. He oh my gosh. Violin. Meg, this one's a good one for you, too. Who from One Direction do you want to date? <gasps> <laughs> Come here. We'll start with you, Megan. Okay. I want to date 
This is not, oh my god. I'd date Louie, and I would date him well. You would date him well. <laughs> but right now, you would be one great girlfriend. I like, I, you know, I, I do love One Direction, but I, I love dating my boyfriend, who actually loves One Direction. He said, I was like, no! I knew I liked him! <laughs> he told me why. He, he like, we'll be sitting in his room, and he'll be listening, we'll just, just like randomly listen to One Direction. And I'll be like, really? You like One Direction? He's like, yeah, it's totally awesome. Audrey, this so, is why oh, we got no. along. I'm already, oh, I'm already dating One Direction. Just do that. Uh-oh. Nolan, I came here. To talk. Oh, we've got more doggies. We've got, here, let's replace Scrubby. Oh, no. Wait, is friends. Nolan this there? Is Nolan Dammon. His name is Jack. He's <gasps> our new rescue. I was going to tell you how important. Thank you. It it's, is to rescue dogs. It's legit wait, a dog wait. party at Austin They asked TV us which right direction are they going uh, to You sit down. Sit down. Party. They talked to us. Which, I these are all my dogs, by the way. They talked about which direction I'd want to date. I said I like date. I love dating my boyfriend, but he actually loves One Direction. So I was wondering which One Direction boy you would date. Or you like the most. There you go. Which one do I like the most? Hi, Nolan. It's Megan. Hey. 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 Hey, Megan. Hey. Hey, Megan. Hey, Megan. Hey. Okay, so my favorite One Directioner is probably... I like Zane. I knew it! He's my favorite, I knew too! It. I, knew it. I think it's the I hair. thinking I think that. I knew it. I I'm smart. So much. He does. You guys both have pretty rocking hair. What's your favorite song by One Direction? More than this. Ooh, I'm oh. definitely a one thing kind of girl. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. I just love that jam. It's so great. It's so great. It is. It's all great. It's all great. <laughs> okay, but this is my. I just want to introduce you guys. This guy's out of my. I have a pack of six. I've got a Scout, a Scooter, a Smokey, um, a Juni, and now a Jack. This is Jack. He is. Uh, the, he came with the name Jack. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, he, we, we rescued him a few days ago. I think it was really important to rescue dogs because they really need a home. And he was actually about to be put down until uh, a pet store picked him up and, and put him up for adoption. So, you know, he, now he has a really nice home and he's such a cuddle bunny. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> Megan and Nolan, uh, Megan, <laughs> Jack and Nolan have bonded. <laughs> They're yeah. like, yeah. Megan yeah. and Nolan too. Costume. Oh! Oh, I don't know where Zenith is. Nolan talking. thinks I'm funny. <laughs> Nolan does think you're funny, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm funny. I take like... pride in me being funny. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, I take pride in me being funny. <laughs> <laughs> he looks good as a panda. Yeah, he does. I don't think he likes it too much, but. <laughs> He's all, I, don't, I don't know. About He's this. the most easygoing dog you'll ever meet. He's such a chill dog. They they bond. They're like best friends. Yeah, I was I was just feeding Jack barbecue baked Lay's chips outside. And <gasps> he loves them. Yes. <laughs> baked Lay's is this dog's favorite food. Which and it's his too. So they're best friends. We have so much in common. They've got so much in common. We have so much in common. <laughs> besties. Besties for life. Curly or straight hair from perfectly preet ninety seven. Perfectly preet pre preet ninety seven. Curly hair. My whole life, I've had stick straight hair, and I've always wanted like like the tiny curl, like the afro curls. But I've never accomplished it, and I still to this day, this not natural. I curl it with a 180 degree curl wand. It's not a real wand. It's actually kind of painful most of the time. Kendall six five five eight. <laughs> Do you like Austin Mahone? Oh, Mahone, the Mahomes. The Mahomies. Shout yeah. out to Mahomies. Shout out to Mahomies. Hopefully you're excited about our new show. I think I'm, I'm really excited about it. Oh, yeah. Awesome Mahomes. Yeah, he's something for Awesome TV. So great. Yeah. I think he's really cool. I think it's awesome. Like, him just, like, just creating, working really hard and, like, created, like, he just leaped from YouTube. And I think that's really cool that he started that way. Um, and his, I think I, I got to give it up. The Mahomey is a really cool fan. Mahomey is a great, it's great. I've got my witnesses. <laughs> that's awesome. That's Audrey so cool. Whitby and her witnesses. That's so cool. <laughs> Join the witness movement. <laughs> Join the witnesses. So yeah, it, at first I think people came up with Whitby Naders, but then that didn't really. It just doesn't like slide off the tongue like Whitby Nader. Whitby Nader. That's too much. That's too much. It's it. too much. So we came up with witnesses. So now I have my witnesses. Oh gosh. Aldana Ovalay. Who is the most important mo model in your life? Mine is my mom. I love her. She is amazing. 
Well, we share the same model. I love my mom. We're best friends. She tells, helps me pick out what I'm going to wear and tells me everything I need to know about life. Everything I know, I know from the movies and my mom. So I love my mom. I love my older sister. I've always said I have like two moms. She's like five years older than me. I love my sister Maddie. She's always been like a huge role model in my life. And now, yeah. I love your mom. <laughs> Where did you get your cat ears? Shout out from Medania. I'm so sorry if I butcher this. Med Medania Gaiada. 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 I got my cat ears at Target. It's this really fancy place. You probably haven't heard of it. <laughs> Target. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. No, uh, I got them at Target. Where else? They're really cute, though. They're sparkly, and I mean... They look good. <laughs> no, no one thought I'm ready to win another costume contest. <laughs> no. Right no. now. Well, really, it's not a big deal, we, but we, we won the, the costume, costume contest. contest. It's no big deal, but we kind of <laughs> won the costume contest. So it's not, not a big deal. deal. Not a big deal. No big deal. Yep. <laughs> Taylor Rice 96, can we be best friends? You're so funny. Ha ha ha. Taylor Rice, yes, we can be besties. Treat me. You know, I'll follow you now, Taylor Rice. We can DM. Yeah. Taylor Rice 96, Audrey Whitby's looking out at you. I am. Just tweet me at Audrey Whitby. I got a new username. It used to be at starring Audrey W, but I got it changed to just the plain and simple at Audrey Whitby. That's my everything now. My Instagram. Audrey Audrey Whitby. Is that way people can find you. Mm -hmm. Really easy. Like, where is she? Audrey Whitby. Simpler. That. It's mm -hmm. just like pretty much all like like I know pretty much a lot of people do that just like One Direction at One Direction. Yeah, you know it's great. They're that easy. You need to change yours. It's just is like at Lil Namen. It's that Lil Namen babes. I'll change it. He's gonna change it to Nolan Damon here pretty soon. She's Nolan. gonna make me change it. I'm I will. not gonna change it. She will make me change it. I will change it. Yep. I'll change it for you. Yep. <laughs> that easy. That oh, easy. She's putting the hammer down. You're changing how it works. everything. That is how it works. You cannot wear flat bills, and you must change your username. <laughs> you can do anything. <laughs> I don't like it when you wear it. I have a question. Everything looks good on you. Jessica, oh. everyone from Austin CD wants to know. Uh -huh. How long have you guys been together? Eight months. Eight months. Oh, so, uh, and that's like, awesome. Let's see, in like a week or two. Yeah, like a week, a week and, and a half. A week and a half, eight months. Yeah. So, months. which is like eternity in teenage years, if you did not know that. Best eight months of my life. Aww. 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 I think everyone in the crowd would be going, aww. <laughs> I this is pretty. <laughs> and then there's Don't people work. like me. I hate my life. <laughs> 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 Megan, <laughs> I'll be home soon. Don't worry. <laughs> it's okay. No, just stop. She comes home to me. <laughs> I'll be walking. It's only 3,000 miles, Meg. <laughs> I need it. It's okay. <laughs> we're, we're together forever, Meg. This is a good segue. Right I'm here. cheating. Taylor Lowe wants to know: Do you like Starbucks? As Meg is drinking Starbucks, I think that answer has been. Good. <laughs> I like the caramel frappuccino. I turned him on to those too. Those are so good. Caramel frappuccinos with whipped cream. Okay. Have you had vanilla bean and then add <gasps> caramel? Yeah. And what? It's Vanilla bean is my favorite, and caramel is my favorite, but now to mix the two? Mix them? Uh, I'm so PR. That man. is cheating. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. I that just is has, funny. my mind is blown. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> it's, seriously, it's seriously so good. I used to get them all the time when I was in high school. Okay. It's like my favorite thing on the planet. I used to get vanilla bean, but I used to get no cream. So I think no cream's a little bit too thick for me. Yeah, it's a little bit. I don't know, but it is good. I like it, but only sometimes. But then I just like caramel, 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 caramel all over the cup. Oh. I think if you want to go to Starbucks. Well, if you guys want to know where I am after I leave Austin S C B, I'll be at one of the two million Starbucks that LA has. Pick one. Pick one. Maybe I'll, I'll be there. Maybe I'll be there. <laughs> you might see her there. One of the two million Starbucks in LA. Seriously, in LA there's like a Starbucks, not on each corner, but like two on each corner. There's yeah. and then like some in the right middle of the street. Each other. Like, they are, they are. They're one seriously looking right at each other. And I'm like, who needs that? People. People like coffee. Disney Seven Songs thinks Scruffy should be the face of awesomeness TV. <laughs> Disney Seven Songs, thank you. I am his agent and his manager. And you know, we're trying to break him in. You know, I've been signing contracts, looking over. He's a star. He's a star. <laughs> I mean, look at him. I mean, did you guys see Scruffy? He's born to be on the silver screen. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, we're looking over contracts right now, picking the best one, you know. NBC's interested, they want to give him his own show. Our CBS, CBS, <laughs> Fox. I mean, he's if you want him, he's pretty good. ESPN, he's pretty good. You know? ESPN, think about putting him in as if he is a sportcaster. Yeah, we're still we're thinking about that one. He does love sports. He does. Including sunbathing. Although Jack's sport. available, guys. Jack's available. Jack's available. We're he, breaking him in. We're breaking him in. You know, he's... He's kind of tired right now. He is a little He's tired. He's had a long day. He's been playing ping pong. He's been playing. He loves He's ping very, pong. He's very, very good at ping pong. We tried playing tennis ball with the <laughs> Bernadette Riviera. Is it possible to say bubbles in an angry voice? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is actually a really funny. This is, uh, I'll lead up to this with the story. Because there is a way to say bubbles in a really angry voice, and I have a story about it. Uh, Shane, our castmate on Sarandom, we were each, uh, we had this set teacher named Marsha, and she had us each paint a rock that was our favorite word on it. And uh, I painted content on my rock. And we're all at lunch showing our rocks. And Shane is like, ha ha, Audrey, your rock, because I'm like a really happy, bubbly person. He's like, I thought your rock would say like rainbows or bubbles or something. And I was like, bubbles? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Shane? I got really offended. I was like, no, I didn't say bubbles. So if you're wondering, <laughs> yes, I know from prior experience that there is a way to say bubbles in an angry voice and then think about it for two weeks after. <laughs> bubbles? Was it really mind-blowing? It was. It was, like, it was a major moment in my life. <laughs> There's a lot of self-discovery. She got offended. Uh, a mock trial student <laughs> wants to know, what's your favorite song on Taylor's new album, Red? By the way, you're so pretty. Aw, thank you, mock trial student. Mock trial student, thank you. Um, oh, I love her new album. I mean, I love Red. Loving You is Red and Trouble. I haven't heard Trouble it yet. Trouble is such a great song. And um, uh, what's the one song? You guys might be able to help me out. It's the one that's like, every time I don't, I almost do. I just think she's like, she's just a brilliant lyricist, I think. And I think everything she says is like, you're just like, whoa, so relatable. I'm mind blown. I get it. He I loves Taylor it. Swift, too. I do. Back to December. That's a great one. First Taylor Swift song I ever heard, actually. That's a good song. So though. good. I can. Summer's a great song. Come on. Okay. My favorite is probably. Uh... Oh, gosh, what was the one with the music video where uh, the army man was in it at the end? Um... I cannot remember. But I bawled when I I just cried. Here, here oh, we We've got one right now. Okay, if you guys have not seen my YouTube, the Audrey Whitby, I play lots of ukulele covers. One of them features my sister Maddie who put me in um, Hufflepuff, as we talked before, and um, Hottie the Scotty from IMO, but we sang the, I remember when we broke up the first time, no, it's I remember when we broke up the first time, saying this is it, I've had enough, cause like we hadn't seen each other in a month, when you said you needed space. What? <laughs> then you go around again and say, baby, I miss you and I swear I'm gonna change, trust me. So yes, I know that song. Um, I think I know. Um... No, I can't play that one. We're okay. teaching Jack how to play drums, actually. Yeah, he's gonna, we're going to start a family band. Can you see it now? Yep. They see it. They see it. They do. Family band. He'll play drums. I'll be lead ukulele. Leading and shredding guitar. Oh, he'll shred guitar. <laughs> no, you'll play, the, you'll play the triangle. Oh. Ding, 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 ding. Says, Hi from Japan. I love you. Yay. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. How do you spell it? Uh, Y-A-Y-O-I. Oh, at. So it's at T T A Y. I'm sorry. I probably said that really wrong, but <laughs> you're from Japan. That's so cool. Megan, are you laughing at me trying to <laughs> say T I Y O I? <laughs> you try saying T A Y. I'm like you're speaking a different language. T A Y. Try saying that with like an attitude. That'd be funny. T A Y. Bubbles. <laughs> Dance Forever 63 says, Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Hopefully with the costumes, because I'm pretty sure I'm obsessed too. Probably with Dance my with grand Steve, ukulele Bobby. skills. So no, probably with Megan's beautiful face. Look at her. Look how beautiful she is. She's a star. Hey. So we only have one minute left. So Audrey, I know you did something here yesterday. What did you do? Oh my gosh, I shot a great new sketch for you guys. It has 
Carlos from Super Ninja, Super Ninjas. I'm sorry. Uh, it's basically it's a sketch. It's a sketch about what Barack Obama would say if he had a teen write his speech. It may include some of my favorite hashtags. Sorry, I'm not sorry. I'm not saying anything, but you might want to watch. It actually is premiering after this hangout, so please go watch it. Go it watch. Is Hilarious. Share it. I was laughing so much. Tweet it. Instagram it. Facebook it. Love peek it. it. Mm -hmm. GIF boom it. Mm -hmm. I don't even, I haven't done GIF, GIF boom in 158 it. days, but do it. a long time. She just said GIF boom it. <laughs> well, that is all. Maybe we should just like end with a little quick song or something. Something to like end it all and you guys should remember this song forever. Thank you guys for coming. To awesome knit to me. I can't wait to see you again. You're so awesome. So awesome to see me. I had a great time. I love you guys. Stay tuned and tweet for if you want this to happen again. It will be still so tell them that you like it. And I love you guys. Oh, and thank you. To Jack and Scruffy, the stars, and I love Awesome Miss TV to watch. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> we good? Jack says bye. Jack says bye.